This sports segment, sponsored by A&D Automotive Group, located in Dothan and Enterprise. Good evening, folks. Well, last Saturday, Auburn used last-minute heroics to defeat the University of Washington at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Now, this Saturday, the Tigers will take on cross-state rivals Alabama State, a squad which has caused Auburn some real problems over recent years. Today, Auburn coach Gus Malzahn gave a preview of what to expect when his team takes on the Hornets. It is being aggressive, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, a couple of the things didn't work, you know, but my experience is if you practice stuff and you call them at the right time and all that, you have, have ways to put pressure on the other team. So, that uh, will definitely be, be aggressive this year. Now the kickoff between the Tigers and Hornets is Saturday night at Jordan-Hare Stadium. And today officials from the Bobby Dodd Coach of the Year Foundation and Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl announced that Auburn head football coach Gus Malzahn has been selected as the Dodd Trophy Coach of the Week. Now the award honors the football coach whose program embodies the award's three pillars of scholarship, leadership, and integrity while also having success on the playing field during the previous week. Now on Saturday, of course, as we just saw, the ninth-ranked Tigers, as we say, secured a victory against number six, Washington. And last Saturday, the Tide got off to a great start as well with a kickoff victory over the Louisville Cardinals. Now this week, Coach Nick Saban's team will host the Arkansas Red Wolves Saturday at Brian Denny Stadium. Coach Saban wants to make sure his team does not overlook the Red Wolves while thinking about upcoming SEC opposition. We're going to make all of our decisions here based on winning. And whoever we feel gives us the best opportunity to go out there and win, that's who we're going to play. Uh, and I'm not going to, I mean, obviously it's how you practice, how you prepare. I said in the beginning, uh, who wins the team? And Saturday night's game against Arkansas State gets underway at Bryant Denny Stadium right there in Tuscaloosa. Well, the Willie Taggart era at Florida State got off to a really bad start Monday night at Doe Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee. The 19th ranked team in the country was embarrassed by Atlantic Coast Conference rival Virginia Tech. And two legends of the game, there they are, retired Virginia Tech coach Frank Beamer and FSU's Bobby Bowden. Here in the second quarter, though, Chris Cunningham breaks through, blocks the FSU punt. Eric Kuma snatches the ball out of the air, gets in the end zone for the touchdown. Tech shocks the garnet and gold 24-3. to Now, last spring, longtime Dothan head football coach Frankie Clark resigned his post with the Rehoboth Rebels. But the Houston County native has not left the sport, you see. Simply, he has left the state. Coach Clark is now with the Early County Bobcats. There he is in blue. In Blakely, Georgia, Bobcat head coach Joel Harvin says Clark has brought a degree of maturity on his squad, and so far things have worked well. Early County has won its last two games, one of them against the highly regarded Eufaula Tigers. Coach Clark has brought a, a lot of knowledge as, as far as the offensive side of the ball is going. That's one reason why I hired him because of, you know, his knowledge on the offensive side. He did a great job at Rehoboth, and, uh, you know, we're just lucky to have him here on staff. And Coach Clark says he's enjoyed his years in the Wiregrass, but also he's having a great time right there in southwest Georgia. And, of course, when you win, you have good times, and he is having a great time. All right, folks, that's a look at sports. We'll be back following these messages.